lyricist that I enjoy. So when you wrote Nothing Else Matters, mm -hmm. which is considered a, a softer song, a ballad, really, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. You were embarrassed to bring that to the band. Right. Because not only are you a shy person, but also it was a love song to a girlfriend at the time, right? Mm -hmm. And so when you, so would you have buried that song rather than bring it to them? And how did it end up in the band's hands? I think Lars heard it and said, hey, that's really good. And I said, no, it's not. <laughs> how did Lars hear that song if you were ashamed of it? How did you hear it? You played it for me. <laughs> that's how he heard it. So you weren't that, so you weren't that ashamed. And did, it, Lars, did he come to you? Did James come to you and go, hey, man. I'm going to play something for you. I no, know. I mean, it's always been, a, there's always been a very open door policy. I mean, we all trade. Usually what would happen back in the early days is that uh, when we would, after a tour, go on break, like James would give me all his uh, ideas. Kurt would give me all his ideas. We'd all sort of trade ideas, and then we'd go away. And then when we'd start writing uh, a few months later, everybody would kind of have an idea of what everybody else was bringing to the table. What a weird process. You're almost like the guy everyone sort of dumps all their ideas into, and you've got to organize the ideas? Is that it? Um, He's the only organized guy in this band. He, 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 right. he, he's <laughs> best suited for that job. He's best suited for that job. But, he's but, our manager. So, but Lars, I mean, when you think about Lars and James, right? You think about two guys from opposite ends of the world. You totally. think about Lars was a, a, from a wealthy family, tennis playing family, the whole thing. And then you see James, in a way, go, you know, just kind of like in this shitty situation with his parents. The idea that you two guys got together is insane, right? That the whole band found each other is insane. Well, I think we found something in each other that we're missing. I mean, you know, I found, uh, you know, I grew up an only child and found, you know, a, my best friend, found a brother and found somebody who could relate to everything that I was going through. And James at that time, like we said, was painfully shy and kind of in his own world. Everything about being in a band and I think hard rock at that time was about belonging to something bigger than yourself. What keeps you guys together, though, do you think? Do you, do you, do you think that it's that uh, even through the, like, you guys had some shitty times together, you had some good times together. Are you real brothers? Do you think the band will always be together? Is there any way this band could ever break up? I think that's why we're still together. We've gone through fire together. and uh, Do you still see each other socially or no? It, it doesn't go that way. I don't know. Uh, When's the last time you guys all hung socially, out? Socially, you mean yes, going out and <laughs> hanging out? <laughs> like and when you're hey, not let's working. Get our families together. Right. Uh, you know, yeah. I don't think that happens too often. I think we 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 know, we respect each other and their and our and our privacy and our boundaries with our families. We get together for parties at HQ. You know, the the Halloween party at HQ is kind of the most awesome time with all the kids together but i think we've stayed together because of that honesty and the fact that you know like in the some kind of monster movie we walk through fire and that's true we know that we can conquer anything anything that comes at us we've we've kind of been through it you know it's amazing and we care for it and there is that fifth member like lars was talking about earlier yeah we're not uh, you know i'm not in the best singer poll i'm not you know we're not individually amazing musicians but together the fifth member is uh, a force that you need to reckon with. So the song Nothing Else Matters, you in a weird me, way, James, yeah. let, let me tell you something. What if you, I said to you that this song could possibly be James's song to Lars? What do you think of that? Very true. It's Very a love true. song to your brother Lars. Yeah. It, 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 you probably didn't know that when you were writing it. You think yeah. you were writing no, it for I'm a woman. I'm start crying. No, I'm serious. <laughs> you have to turn, turn around. face you. You have yeah. to turn around and face me while you're singing. <laughs> but this is a beautiful love song that no, really I, came to really came to be because a Lars, you gave James the confidence to release well, this like song. I, I said I just you know when I heard it, it, it was in a. A kind of a, a rough state. Uh, the, all the parts on it now weren't there, but when I heard the verses, I'd never heard James sing like that, and it just moved me. And I knew that this was something that we had to share with the rest of the world. He felt.